Still feeling it out. This is only the third flight. Just trimming it out again. Safe mode, that looks pretty good. That's full stick, good bank angle. Hands off, safe mode. Half throttle. There in case you need it. picking up now. Still running. First two flights I had still pretty rich and this time on the tack leaning it I was peaking at about 7600 rpm wind up there. It's a heck of a breeze out of the south today. She rolls fast. That's mid-rates roll. Good grief. <laughs> I'm gonna land at five minutes. That's about a minute to go here. timer get it down for the sun gets too annoying all right overhead breaking left in the power. All right, that lands good. It's 
switch on the high rates to help plant that tail with the full up elevator. Six minute flight. Coasting in on the idle. It's a good, good stable idle. Four frame losses. It's consistent. I think every flight has had four. <laughs> cool, cool. We'll see what we look like. Every flight I'm going over every single nut and bolt on the control surfaces because Put Loctite on them, but I found that they can still vibrate loose with Loctite. So, all right, we'll cut the GoPro off and pick it up on the iPhone. All right, so just finished the third flight on my Kristen Eagle here, and everything went good, no issues. Feels good. It's a little bit windier today than it was on the original uh, Maiden, which was yesterday, and um, I've added a little bit of Expo to all of my rates. And I ended up leaning the engine out just a little bit more on the high speed needle. Uh, it was running a little bit rich still. But uh, let's take a look at everything on it. Uh, my cowling broke. These two here on the uh, second flight after that, I took it home and re epoxied those back on. Uh, this was my Globe igniter plug to get to it. Uh, I ended up putting a remote igniter on it, which is real nice. It works. Uh, this valve cover was actually making contact on the inside of the cowling. So you can see here a little dimple where the bottom one is. But uh, I ended up cutting this hole. It looks ugly, but it works. And it allowed me to actually get the cowling a whole lot more squared up on the spinner here. It looks a lot better. Uh, I do have a spare cowling. I got one of those before they went out of stock. So I'll eventually get one uh, real prettied up, looking good here. But uh, other than that, not too bad. It's still a little bit wet, which is to be expected. Uh, you can see the... Oh, this, look at this, that guy. That needs tightening up. That's starting to back out a hair. Uh, at least visually, it might... I'll put a wrench on it and see. But... Uh, I adjusted this one last night, right there just to take out some of the roll trim that I had. That's still on and secure and tight. Back on the tail, I did my elevator adjustment as well. And I went to the inner hole for a little bit more throw. So how's that? Oh yeah, still very snug. Clevis is still on in the right position. My tail wheel's got a little slop now. This is an extreme flight tail wheel. So I ended up adding this on because the stock one uh, it, it didn't even make it through the engine break-in process it started bending and leaning over but all feels good this side same thing they're all good my servo connector this one I shrink put Loctite and shrink wrapped them so those aren't going anywhere and then this side see what we got over here oh yeah it looks good nuts they haven't even moved all right so five minute flight let's see what the fuel looks like and put the phone down for a second so after five minutes of flying oh my gosh I've still got so much fuel left I could go easily 10 minutes not even halfway on the tank so that's my radio setup eight channel standard servo 6380s using a 2000 milliamp lipo so getting a you know eight bolts or roughly but i don't know thing looks good flight number three is in the books so far i'm really enjoying the plane it feels good it looks good and uh, it lands good that was the best landing i've had on it i just had to get my idle a little bit lower so that i could actually get the engine to slow down 
and uh, not make so much power. The first two landings, I was bouncing it after touchdown. It just had a little bit of energy left. It was still, still wanting to fly, but uh, it's coming. The wind helps too. It's actually nice to have a little bit of a breeze to help slow it down. So I'm gonna fuel it up and uh, get it back in the air for flight number four. Definitely feels like it has more power than it did the other day. That's safe mode. Full stick to the corner. <laughs> I heard it. I don't know if that's just the exhaust flipping around itself or if that was a hiccup on the fuel. If it was fuel, it sure was fast. set my timer but I heard eight I'll go for another three land at 11 do your roll at higher throttle the second time you roll you bring lower throttle now. yeah mid stick that's still full throttle right here That damn rudder is so touchy. Let's try some idle. Right then, I couldn't have told you if it was on the or something, too. Still running. See all that smoke? That's on the idle. Yeah, it's still running, but it's definitely rich.
Alright, one more circuit then I'll set up the land. She was about to stall. <laughs> make that turn yeah see that all that smoke it stumbles a little bit I need to reach in there and give it a quarter quarter of a turn make it a little bit leaner oh my fuel fuel dots hanging in the wind too <laughs> 